in a unique collaboration between the National Museum of the Royal Navy and BAE Systems, HMS Victory, the 255-year-old flagship of Vice Admiral Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar has reached a major milestone in a multi-million pound conservation project that has continued despite the UK's nationwide lockdown. The results of this extraordinary project are shared ahead of the reopening of Portsmouth Historic Dockyard on 24 August. Upon reopening, visitors will be able to view the new system up close for the first time by walking down the underhull path to the bottom of the dry dock, to walk under the enormous hull and take in the extraordinary scale of the body of the ship. The innovative system replaces 22 steel cradles which were installed when HMS Victory came to rest in the dry dock in 1922. The integrity of the ship, when in operation, would usually be maintained by the pressure of the sea pressing against the hull and keel. However, without this pressure, over time, the 3,600-ton ship began to sag under her own weight. Thanks to BAE Systems engineering expertise, HMS Victory is now supported by a network of technology which monitors the ship's weight distribution and enables adjustments to be made, mimicking the variable pressures of the sea. HMS Victory will reopen to the public along with the rest of Portsmouth Historic Dockyard on 24 August. The reopening will mark a new collaborative approach between the National Museum of the Royal Navy and the Mary Rose. This will include the introduction of a new joint ticketing offer allowing visitors to visit Lord Nelson's flagship and Henry VIII's flagship in one visit.